38,000. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy King Yellow 13. Today, we'll be reacting to uh, NBA players talking about Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. And let's get right into this video. Your boy YG, aka Yangala. And when you talk about the oh, greatest footage. players of Obviously all time, too. or who is the greatest player of all time, Kareem Abdul Jabbar should be somewhere in your. Quick story. I used to be in this college program when I was in middle school. They actually took us to colleges and stuff like that. And I actually got to meet Kareem Abdul Jabbar once. He is way taller in person than he looks on the court top three and you can for sure make an argument that he's number one because this game was damn near perfect and you can always yeah, count on him to make a crazy. bucket for your team just because he has that unguardable skyhook which is the best signature move of all time i mean if you scored thirty-eight thousand plus points with it it's the best signature move damn I'm just letting y'all know, I know about Kareem Abdul Jabbar. I knew what he was known for. I played a lot of 2K, so I used him a lot, so I know what he's good at. But I've actually never really watched any of his highlights or any of his plays. This is just way before my time. Um, I was born in 98, and he was retired way before then, so I have never seen probably any of these, to be honest to make a bucket for your team just because he has that unguardable skyhook which is the best signature move of all time i mean if you score 38,000 plus 38, points with that thousand. it's the best signature move kareem was just the perfect basketball player and before he even got to the nba he is the greatest college basketball i mean no skyhooks he has the long highest hooks. college career scoring average with 26 points per game and the highest season Damn, he scoring averaged 26 average points with again? 29 points per game Guys, he scored 61 points in a college Damn. game, the most ever, and he has so many records just in college. It almost seems like his prime started in college instead of that the NBA crazy. because he was Imagine clearly ahead of college. his time. And it's such that go to we college, barely probably see the man. prime Kareem because Way more most points. of his prime was with the Bucks, and they were rarely shown on television. And the Kareem that most Damn. people seen is the one that's bald with the goggles. It was mostly Magic Team when he got to the Lakers, and you probably only seen the last five years of kareem so anyways man let's listen to some nba legends and players talk about how scary good a prime kareem abdul jabbar was but before we get straight into the video make sure you like share subscribe and hit that notification bell for the culture so you won't be missing any of my videos. already have and let's get to the video man to be in this position today where uh you know i see my name linked to a lot of the greats that played this game and, and pat and the go away from myself and kyrie and kev um it means a lot it's very humbling um it's an opportunity for my family to be proud uh, for my fans to be proud, so um, th that's a, it's a lot of just a lot of respect with that. Um, we were, I was actually to your second question was jogging into the locker room like we always like we usually do off the floor. I saw a, a legend outside of our locker room and I slowed my pace up. How you feel? Definitely a legend. Looking good. Things looking good for you. Go ahead and take that. Just to embrace um, a legend being in our building watching us play but what he did for the for the game uh the championship runs that he had uh with the showtime lakers and him being an all-time leading scorer in nba history and so on and so on and so on so uh it, it's just just respect when you see a guy like that and you put him in the class with jim brown and must feel nice Muhammad Ali and oscar robinson kareem adu jabbar those guys all laying that same thing bill russell uh so it, it was a it was a pretty just cool imagine meeting your yeah. idol you know, kareem uh 38 000 points you know, right now I'm at like, you know, 27. And like I always brag to my son, man, I got 27,000. Because, you know, my son was like, you can't even shoot. And I was like, son, I don't need to shoot. I got 27,000. So one day my, my son working mm -hmm. in and now he said, but daddy, Kareem got 38,000. So I'll just tell you how great of a player he was. Five championships, nice guy. Did you ever think about I did. You know, when I was, you know, when I was little, I did think about that. But because I'm a, I'm a hip hop kid, I wanted to come with something more cool, and that's why I always went with the jump hook. Shaq, like, that's you know, another legend. I don't know who I think is better. I think I'll give it to Shaq. You know, because that's who I played against is Kareem. You know, his dominance, uh, um, his accuracy. Teams had to be scared when they knew they was going up against Kareem. Who was stopping them? You know, so. I think it's what, 730? Guys from your era, and you have to win. A two-hour game. Kareem's your first pick. Yes. Because Skyhook. Yes. Because Nobody can stop because it. Because percentage. Yeah. We know if we throw it down there, we're gonna get a high percentage uh, of points. And that helps you because now they have to trickle down. They got double down to him. Now you now you get to enjoy. 
by name. George Gervin. I don't think much of Jabbar. Uh, I think a great deal of his ability on the basketball court, the greatest offensive force I had ever seen. Uh, and unfortunately, Still is? Uh, well, you know, that, I, that I've seen, you know, yeah. but... Not, some, not as much as, as Michael, do you think? Uh, well, you the know, I, I think that, saying uh, that maybe that's, Michael is a... He's, that's crazy. A, he's unbelievable. Michael's yeah. in... He's over here. Yeah, let's talk he's about, in a different zone. Yeah, yeah, let's, yeah. let's talk about a, a, a Jabbar for All a second, right. who, I, who I believe, uh, you know, had a, one big problem, and I might have been his problem. I think... He feels as though maybe I was the guy who's standing in the way of true immortality for him, right. you know, because we were centers and somewhat rivals and maybe doing some of the same same things. And uh, well, he was spoke out against that's crazy. a few ways that I think were not too common. It's a legend to say yeah. you're so great. That's what, that's what you resent. Shows how good well, I mean, I, I resent that because I have a great deal of respect for him. I have yeah. criticized some style of his play, lack of rebounding later on in his career, maybe not retiring, uh, you know, uh, at a time when I yeah. thought he should shut up. Uh, you know, but yeah, that's. But suppose you'd had a sky hook. Ooh. Oh, but I had a fadeaway <laughs> jump shot. I had, I had a fadeaway <laughs> jump shot. <laughs> Greatest player to ever play this game I is Kareem Thomas. Jamar. And we're, we are dismissive of Kareem because every single stat that you throw up. He's at the top. I mean, look how big he is from everybody. Him and learn and read stuff that he puts on paper. They should do it because to me, he's a very intelligent he's man. He's a very intelligent yeah. man. Super intelligent. He was yeah. he. Oh, his footwork was nice. Being from New York City, those are my two eyes. I mean, he's barely even he jumping. The only person look at that. That when I played in the NBA, I was in awe when I walked on the court. Do you think out of out of the guys from your generation? Who do you, do you think Moses was probably the most well, underrated? No, well, Moses is the most underrated because, you know, Kareem is the greatest. I mean, he, in terms of centers all time, Kareem is the number one guy. In terms of players all time, Kareem is still the number one guy. You know, he's the guy yeah. you got He's the guy you got to start your franchise Damn, he gave it to number one. You get, 20 <clears throat> you get 20 years and you get leadership. I got Kareem on top five. I don't know about my... I got him in my top ten. I got him in my top five. Figuring things out and and well, he's a great player. I mean, I mean, he definitely could be in anybody's top five. I won't argue. Volumes. And uh, just because he had a bad attitude, there are a lot of people who you know who who disrespect him, but he never had a bad attitude with me. And you know, I mean, I I met him back in 1970, and I don't think there's ever been a Julius more important weapon to step on a basketball court. Than Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Difference. If if Kareem at his best, Shaq against us, because my top five is close to yours except for one. Okay. Kareem at his best, minus your obviously one, but Kareem at his best, Shaq at his best. Mm. Really? Mm. Tell me why. I mean, uh, he, 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 uh, Shaq was a human specimen. Yes, he was, and I like Shaq, but he was no Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. This man could dominate you. You know, maybe actually I might hands. change my mind because you know when Shaq played up against they, Yao Ming, when they have to change the that game height, definitely had him you. a little confused. <laughs> and that's great. Yao Ming had agility like Kareem and had it. We have to remember Kareem Abdul Jabbar. He would have been blocking them, scoring right over Shaq pretty easy, I think. In a row in college, and it could have been four if freshmen were allowed to play. The man was just so dominant. The skyhook. Yeah, I mean, Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Unbelievable. I, I, first of all, I'm surprised that nobody, nobody's ever done it, tries to do that shot. Lots of other guards, but surprised. no one's ever He's gotten one of a the shot. <laughs> no one's got, but the thing I'm about right. Kareem, when you when you look back at some Grant of those, Hill. those games and those iconic kind of games. I'm from Michigan, so. I mean, he's, he's hitting deep ones. He's I know most of these pistons. Feet, that sky hook. And you know it's coming. You know what he's going to do. That sky hook from the free throw line. He's going to that sky hook. And I don't know if there's ever a play or a shot in the history of the game that um, that scored one as many points and two was just you couldn't guard you couldn't guard it and uh, I mean he I'm just surprised that more big guys don't try to work on that shot I know it takes a lot of finesse a lot of touch um, but I mean it's, it's, it's one of those you things can't replicate that perfection I'm even man. Thinking, why did I work on that I mean <laughs> that shot right there was unbelievable to, to defend I tell you what makes that shot so difficult to guard. First of all, you got a guy who's 7 2 with incredible balance. 7 2. It takes a great balance to yeah, execute Dominique that Wilkins. type of shot and the fluidity to come through. Because once you get up there, he's up there but all alone. And there's no way you're going to block that shot. But tall. he stayed within an area. You're talking about staying in that box. And that's what Kareem did. And it was just an unguardable shot. And again, a guy at 7'2 with that type of mobility, that type of talent, and athleticism at that size. 
wrong with you? Why? As a big guy, just to go big guy's it. battling with you, and you're going off one leg, the strength and the balance. But, but I will say the space. Awesome. But where's your shoulder pointed at? Oh, at the basket. Yeah, so yeah. when. At the basket. And, and, and that's, that's, that's the whole key. Like, with Kareem, exactly. he would get you, he would get you, and, and then he had got so good at it, like all of you have, where, okay, I figured out, like, if I can't get my shoulder around, okay, now, intellectually, right, I can now change yeah. and say, okay, I got to shoot it two more inches over here. So, Scotty, I want to pick your brain. What do you think are some of the most unguardable moves you've ever seen or played against? Let's see, we've got the most points in the league. Kareem. Oh, yeah. The <laughs> Skyhook. Sky hook, the Skyhook is the answer. That's Why the don't, answer. Okay, so this is my question. Why don't any players today develop that? You can't. If it truly is the most unguardable thing anyone's ever come up with, that. why aren't we seeing it? We've seen some just had the perfect one. Right. mid baby ones, but no one who can really do it. I, I think that that shot kind of escaped the game, kind of left with the, the great one because there's no one really teaches it. Um, I've seen guys use jump hooks, but not the sky hook. Right. I He's mean, tried to teach it. To, I was going to say too. we've had we we had Kareem on the show quite a bit, which is awesome. And I, I mean, look, he said he's available. Right? Yeah, I mean, and secondly, uh, Kareem was one of the greatest scorers in this game. So you have to be a scorer to even try to. The level of good you. I'm a huge LeBron James fan, but Allen Iverson, size wise, the grit that he had and he brought to the game, who's yours? You know, that's pretty tough because there's been, I've seen a lot of great players before I even got to playing, and then now that um, I have to go with Kareem Abdul Jabbar. He had the most unstoppable shot, uh, could do a lot of things at a young age. Um, Harvey. Get Kareem. Uh, we talk uh, MJ and LeBron, LeBron, but because when back I then they knew the different we people. Hated them. We hated each they other. Knew more. And you know, Kareem and I, Kareem was like the greatest player I ever played against by far. Do you miss Kareem? Well, I, not, I miss not seeing, not seeing him out there as a, as a person. Yeah. He was Another a great legend. Player. Oh, no question. The greatest. Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Number 33. Skyhook goggles and low top seat. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't think Kareem knows a tree. You know, I knew a lot about Kareem. I didn't know he was like good. this dominant though. Kareem. Kareem the legends are saying he's the best player they ever played in. He was just the stabilizer and the foundation of their own. Even guards is not just a big man saying that. Kareem was definitely a physical player, but he revolutionized the center position, uh, I think, with his finesse. Great I footwork. It was unique to see a big man with so much finesse as he had. I remember him just making one of the toughest shots in the game, and that's the sky hook. He let you bump him, and he just took his time and took a step out and gave you a hook shot from 15 feet out. That's a hook shot. Unbelievable. Oh, my. What a hook shot. What a shot. I mean, you can't really even stop that, to be honest. Because if you don't take it up deep, jump, and he's right around you, he's taking it up anywhere. I've never seen anyone shoot, make two sky hooks in the game. I've never seen that in the NBA. And actually, if you take a sky hook and miss it, someone will think you're not being serious because of how difficult that shot is. I think the unique thing about his sky hook is that he brings his arm all the way out, and with his wrist, he flicks it. And uh, he doesn't cheat where a lot of us just come up and try to guide the ball in. He really shoots the ball. No one more qualified to ask than you. The NBA's all-time leading scorer. You won four championships in high school, three in college, probably would have been four. Chauncey Billups. Six in the league. Pistons legend. MVPs. Who's the greatest basketball player of all time? We'll never know. In oh. your opinion? There's so many guys that you can put in there. Um, you know, guys that have the versatility and leadership and... Uh, skills. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video because Kareem is the most accomplished basketball player and we have to appreciate his greatness. So tell me where would you rank Kareem on the all-time list? So make sure you like, share, subscribe, and show love to the YG gang and I'm out. And that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment down below. Any videos you want me to react to, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my gaming channel and my Twitch, both under King Yellow 13. I will be streaming 2K here in the next couple days. I stream UFC. And until I see you on the flip side, peak.